Welcome back to Oak Business Consultant. Today we are up with another financial model that is Solar Energy Financial Model. This model comprises of 12 different sheet including Input Sheet, Revenue Analysis, Depreciation and Loan Amortization, Startup Summary, Income Statement, Cash Flow Statement, Balance Sheet, Revenue Analysis, Project Evaluation, Sensitivity Analysis, KPI and Ratios and in the last we have Dashboard. And at the right side you can see this chart uh, how to use in this peach colored sales represent input sales or assumed data gray color sales represent formula uh, formula result and light gray font represent the helping or assumed sales first sheet is in, input sheet input sheet comprises of major assumptions that we have used in the model like investment from equity investment from debt uh, assumptions for solar energy assumption for revenue and after that we have payroll for employees and after payroll we have capital expenditure and operational expenditure and after them we have account receivable and account payable days after input sheet we have revenue analysis at the top we have find the available capacity from solar and after that we have found the revenue according to that capacity available and the cost of service according to those after the after the uh, after revenue analysis we have depreciation depreciation include depreciation from both fixed asset and uh, lithium batteries and after depreciation we have asset calculation as you can see and after asset calculation we have loan amortization and schedule of loan according to the debt that we have taken and after depreciation we have a startup summary a startup summary uh, tells about the utilization of fund uh, against the total expense as you can see this complete sheet describe the utilization of fund after a startup summary we have income statement following the traditional format at the top we have revenue after revenue we have cost of goods sold and minus operating expense and we will get our EBITDA and in the end we have our net profit and after income statement we have cash flow statement following our uh, traditional format at the top we have operating activities and after operating activities we have investing activities after investing activities we have financing activities after after uh, complete uh, after finance activities we have net cash from the cash flow statement and at the bottom we have working capital and after cash flow statement we have balance sheet balance sheet including current assets and non current assets after that we have total assets and same goes with liability current liabilities and non current liabilities and after that we have total liabilities and after that we have uh, equity section but this describe total a capital from equity and after that we have total liability and equity after balance sheet we have break even analysis as you can see here after break in analysis we have project valuation using the VEC method here is the project valuation describing each and everything and here we have our burn rate and minimum investment required after project valuation we have sensitivity analysis uh, in different scenarios first one is at the actual scenario and after that we have the pessimistic scenario at the negative 10 percent and optimistic scenario and after that uh, we have kpi and ratios kpi and ratios describe the liquidity uh, pro include profitability ratios liquidity ratios solvency ratios and efficiency ratios and after ratios we have dashboard that represent uh, visually about our company's performance. That's it for today. Thank you.